Hey guys, welcome to the uh, Action Don Garage. I'm here again, uh, helping out the brother. Uh, he uh, his alternator died, and we were looking on trying to how to see how to change the alternator in a uh, 3.0 V6 uh, Dodge Dodge Stratus RT with the 3.0. 3.0. Cool. All right, the alternator is right here. It's dead. Okay, they say there's an adjuster pulley for it. We couldn't find anything. We kind of started here already. And I'm going to show you where the adjuster is. Okay, there's the, the alternator. See, it's fine condition. Um, there's like a bracket here. We'll show you that in a second. And then a bar. But first thing first, just to even get the belt off, you got to go underneath this son of a gun. And, and, you see right Okay, there's the pulley, and there's an adjuster bolt. I think it's like a 14 millimeter, I, I think. I think it's a 14 millimeter. And it's, it's, it's on a slider. So you loosen this up, and then it goes up. Now, it may be stuck like it was on us, even after we put some penetrator on it. So I had, a, I had to beat it up a bit, and then we were able to get the belt off. Okay, so that's first things first, is that this is the adjuster pulley on it down here that you have to change. Okay. All right. Now here, what you're gonna do is after you get the belt off, you're gonna have to unbolt the bolt down there. It's a long, like six-inch bolt with another 14 millimeter nut on it, and then there's another 14 millimeter bolt right about here that you got to take out. And then after you get all the wires all off of it, which is also fun, there's another. I think it's it's another 14 millimeter bolt right underneath here, and. Okay, I already started, so let's see. Okay, see, there's the 14 millimeter bolt and the bracket. And then you just take that off. There's a biatch inside. And then we already got the bolts pulled here, but the one bolt's here and the secondary here. And then you can take this bad boy out. And now we're going to throw the new one in. It's a tight fit. You gotta, you gotta get that, that bad boy in there as best you can. Okay, and then you're gonna want to run that six inch, 14 millimeter, and it's got like a square head on it, so it just pinch locks on the back side once you kind of slide it in. For all you gentlemen out there, you'll understand what this looks like and how tough things can be sometimes. <laughs> All right. And then it's a washer with a locking washer and then a 14 millimeter bolt goes on the top of it. Okay. All right, another little tip is as you're putting this back bolt in here, okay, you're not really gonna be able to get a socket in on that side. So don't be discouraged. Just use an open end. And you probably have to have a little bit of like a little torque multiplier, like a you know a bar or some way you can a long handle to be able to uh, tighten it up and tighten it, okay? Because it, there's there's just no room there. All right, as you can see, we got the belt on underneath here, and I got the 14 millimeter. You can see I got a double extender on it up to the adjuster, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna tighten this up, and it's gonna suck that. See, and you just do it until the belt is nice and tensioned. I'm not going to quote what to tension it to. You should know better if you're watching a video like this. And that's how you do it. You get it nice and tight. And good. All right, and here we are. It's all installed. The new alternator. All right, belt tensioner is good. All right, we put everything back together. A couple notes. You're gonna have to unbolt these couple little things here for these wiring harnesses. There, and back there, the back of the alternator. There, okay. And like I said, you're gonna have to loosen the dipstick. You're gonna have to pull it away. What I what we did was we pulled it away a little bit, and we ran the bolt in it, and then we sat this back on top of the bolt, and it kept it off just enough for us to be able to get in here and work nice. Okay, and then we threw the battery in after recharging it. We fired it up, 
and she started right up. Now in case you don't know about testing an alternator, you know, run it, pull your negative off. If it dies, your alternator shot. Okay, so hopefully we were able to help anyone out that needed it. 3.0 V6 24 valve Dodge Stratus RT. Thanks guys.